Welcome YouTube to another episode of Life is Strange and this is episode 5 and I am glad to be back. I just took a break to play the new Resident Evil Village and it was an absolutely awesome game. It wasn't super scary but the ending, if you like good stories, I thought the ending was twisted and it was cool and sad and crazy. So if you want to see a good video, go watch that whole entire episode series. Um, but in the back of my mind, I have been thinking about what the heck is going to happen in this episode. I am super pumped. And without further ado, let's get into it. My name is Beaver, and this is our story. Whoa. What did you find? Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. We can't trust anybody, except each other. You know more about her than me. No, you and Chloe think you know more than anybody, like all teenagers. Oh, look, the Wonder Twins. What are you doing in my dorm? You are so fucking dead! Ah. Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. <sighs> Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. What are you doing here, Max? Victoria has to be next. What a lame gimmick. Rachel, why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Oh. <gasps> Rachel, what? I'm sorry, Chloe. I'm so sorry. I know you're close to Nathan, but your life is in serious danger. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Oh god, Max, look. She's still there. Oh, no. Chloe. Look how. What the fuck? Uh-oh. We're on display here. If you guys want a set of headphones with a good mic, 10 bucks, I'll leave a link in the description. Make sure to use mine, help me out. She can't see, see fingernails on her finger. This is an old game. Chloe, what? Where? It's a dark room. Can we rewind? No. Is that me yelling or is that somebody else yelling? 
<clears throat> These straps are hurt. She just needs to do what Ethan would do and rip her arm off. at myself like that. You'll pay for this, Jefferson. We gotta get out for God, it. I don't remember anything that happened. This must be the same drug Nathan used on Kate. Focus on photo? I promised I would never go back in time like this again. But this is the only way. This guy has some weird kinks. The slightly unconscious model is often the most open and honest. No vanity or posing, just pure expression. Oh Christ, look at that perfect face. Hold that stare there! Stay still! Shot. But please don't worry. We have all the time in the world. For now, I knew you were special the second I saw your first selfie. Yes, I still hate that word. But I love the purity of your own image. Not like Rachel, who was always looking in the wrong places. Poor Rachel. Let me try this angle. Don't move! Oh. <sighs> Much better. Thanks, Max. If only Nathan could see this setup. He tried so hard. But you can't just throw a few subjects around and expect a cohesive style or theme. But he had an eye for shadows, and an eye for a whole lot more, as his elite family will find out, along with Arcadia Bay. Nice. Good. Oh, those eyes. Is he framing Nathan, or is Nathan actually with him? You're so goddamn nosy, Max. But this room... Is under 24-7 surveillance, so all I had to do was text you from Nathan's phone. And you fell right into my hands. You really should have focused on schoolwork, not private detecting with your little friend. Chloe. Chloe. Right. Yeah, I'm sorry that I killed... that Nathan killed her in self-defense. But she had a troubled history, like most Arcadia Bay dropouts. Nobody will be surprised. Or care. Though I promise, people will care when you die tonight, Max. I wasn't lying when I said you have a gift. Okay. Now this looks good. Maybe a few more close-ups. guy's a weird son of a bitch, man. Max, please do not move so much. I need you posed and framed my way. Maybe a new dose will calm you oh, down. No. No. Now don't move or this no. will hurt much. Stupid! Bitch! You just don't listen, do you? In fact, you never did hear much in my class. If you had, you might have seen all this coming. God damn, you are a fighter, though. 
I've had my eye on you, and I've noticed that you've been more fearless this week than maybe your whole life. Remember my number one rule. Always take the shot. stains on his photos. Good. Now I can use them. How do I use them? I'd really like to smash that fancy camera into Jefferson's face. No. That picture isn't going to help. And I can't go through all I thought all that, that was this photo. Oh. I'm definitely more awake in this photo. I could try this one. might work. Please work. <laughs> Tripping me out. Go clear. How many girls have this guy killed? Here, Max. Yes, Victoria would kill to be in your place, but she doesn't understand our connection. You're the winner, Max. I choose you, your portrait. Fuck you. You're trying too hard. I know you're scared. You all have the same doe-eyed look when you wake up here, replaced by fear as you realize what's about to happen. Mr. Jefferson, why are you doing this? Oh, Max, I'm so glad you asked that question. Uh, simply put, I'm obsessed with the idea of capturing that moment innocence evolves into corruption. That shift from black to white to gray and beyond. Most models are cynical. They lose that naivete. However, some Blackwell students carry their hope and optimism with them like an aura and those lucky few become my models my subjects yes you're a psychopath and this is your last session well contraire max i'm so sane that nobody knows what's happening to you right now and don't get me started on your late partner i had enough of those faux punk sluts in my seattle days Go to hell. You will for everybody you've hurt. Unlike pure sweet Kate Marsh, I don't believe in that bullshit. She could have been my masterpiece. The world is what an artist makes it. And my muse... Kate believed, and she survived. You failed to break her. She's stronger than ever, and she'll outlive you. She'll certainly outlive you. Who knows? Maybe I'll pay Kate a visit soon and test her faith again. You will not get away with this. I want you to know that. When you told the principal that I made Kate cry, I thought you almost had me. It's good our esteemed principal Wells is like most administrators. A closet drunk. I do know that the Prescotts are going to have a major scandal when the town finds out what their elite son has been doing for homework. You used Nathan. I prefer the term manipulated. Like with an image. 
Nathan's was easy to twist around. I became a sort of father figure for Nathan. It happens often in teacher-student relationships. It was kind of touching for a while. Did you tell him everything about your plans at Blackwell? Don't be stupid, Max. I told him what he needed to hear. In return, I had access to the Prescott fortune. Who do you think paid for this glorious darkroom and equipment? How else could I get all these hip new drugs for my subjects? Rachel Amber was your victim, not your subject. Oh. Rachel Amber. Hm. That's the real tragedy. Nathan thought he could be an artist like me. Instead, the dumbass gave her an overdose. Why, Rachel? I don't have time to tell you everything. But she was special. A human chameleon, so many visual possibilities. We had a real connection. Did she let you take pictures of her? Rachel was in love with me. That's not my ego. Just look at our sessions. Not that I'll let you. Nobody loved having their picture taken more. Anyway, Rachel is dead. But no tears. Los Angeles would have killed her anyway, so look at this as a favor. You're evil. Oh, I see. You and your friends almost beat Nathan to death. See, we're not so different. Yes, yes we are. I cared more about Nathan than you did. No, you didn't. It's just too bad that he fell in lust with Rachel. He actually thought he could mimic what I do with the camera and subject, like father, but not like son. Where is Nathan now? Dead and buried. After what he did to Rachel, I knew I couldn't keep him as a protege for much longer. Now the police will never find his body. Do you finally get it now, Max? I can't compromise my vision with amateurs. You are an amateur. Look at the trail of death you left behind. You can't blame all this on Nathan. I don't care what you do to me. You're gonna die, motherfucker. For Chloe <laughs> and Rachel and everybody else. I do love your spirit, Max, but you brought yourself here. By your own choice. Anyway, I like my models to be seen and not heard. So I have to make sure there's nothing left behind of you. Okay. Now, let's see how these shots came out. I can see why your instant camera is so appealing. You don't need a computer to print your work out. I have all those photos in my diary. This could be a way out. I'd be insane. Oh, now this one. This is purity person. I have all those How do I get that? Diary. This could be a way out. Max, I wish you could see yourself now. Oh, I can actually. Let's see how these I have shots all those photos in my diary. I can see why you're this could be a way so out. you work out. I'm not sure what to do right now. Oh, now this one. Do I just wait? This is purity personified. Max, I wish you could see yourself now. Well, show me, bro. This one's out of focus, but that's my fault, Max. I have all those photos in my diary. This could be a way out. Hmm. Am I supposed to go back? This 
as far as back as it lets me go. Okay. Wait. Oh. Please, Mr. Jefferson. Miss Max. Adam. I would love to talk shop, but I really need to go over these pictures, especially while they're fresh in my mind. I think our session was a career high for me. You, you still have my diary. Don't worry. Nobody's going to read it. Thanks for reminding me. There's nothing more innocent than a teenager's diary. Oh, look at your selfies. What a waste of talent. Look at that shot, Max. You can do so much better. I will gladly look oh at God. it. I can go all the way back to the moment this all started. Max, this could be your chance to fix everything for good. Pretty cool power. I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. Oh, do you hear Max that? Has taken what you kids call I a corner. Selfie. Yeah. A dumb I'm back. A right back where I started this insane week. And nobody course, is going to hurt Chloe know, ever again. Portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Uh, let's do the right answer. Process. Oh, well, that was easy, Max. Was it? Okay. Well, uh, okay then. So, uh, the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear, defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Obviously, Max has read them. Uh -oh. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday time Heroes. Time to change time. The winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the First. Artwork. Let's make it real easy to capture Mark Jefferson. And Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Bastard. I have to warn David about Jefferson and the dark room. All I need is David's number, and Jefferson is one text closer to life without parole. I should be able to track down David's number from the school pamphlet. Who's David? Is it the principal? Found you. Oh, David Madison. I remember who David Madison is now. The security guard. For once, David, I'm praying you'll overreact to this as much as everything else. And take Jefferson down fast. You wanted me to enter the contest, asshole. So maybe I'll be going to San Francisco. And Jefferson, you'll be going to prison. Now I gotta go save Chloe. The past within the past. Am I pushing myself too hard? It doesn't matter what happens to me. I can't go past these photo boundaries, so I need to fix everything from here. What? This fancy camera does not give you any extra talent, Victoria. Or excuses. You will not hurt Kate Marsh this time. How do I fix everything from here? Oh, Victoria. 
We could have been friends. Hi, Kate. Oh, hey, Max. Kate, listen to me. I am. Always remember that you're not alone. I've got your back no matter what happens. So do a lot of other people. We all care. We're all here for you. You need to know that. Max, that makes me feel so blessed for the first time this week. I, I don't know what to say. That's okay. Neither do I. Maybe we could both use a hug. Thanks. You always know the right thing to do. No, I don't. Somehow I gotta save Chloe. This is the last time somebody bullies you, Kate. Dear Kate, we love your porn video, XOXO Blackwell Academy. Victoria, I'm sorry you have to stand next to that psycho. Mr. Jefferson, we need to talk. Uh. Can you see I'm talking to Mr. Jefferson now? I can see you're kissing ass again. Nothing new. Damn. What did you just say? Hold on, Victoria. Are you okay, Max? Not until Victoria knows that hiding behind a screen and posting videos of people is totally fucked up. You know how easy it is to hurt somebody? To destroy their life? Are you proud of yourself? If you have any feelings left, you should think about your actions. Listen. I, I didn't... Of course you did. You're so insecure, you can't even be happy with your own talent. You have to try and bring everybody down to your mean and ugly level. Okay, I do not have to listen to this bullshit. Do I, Mr. Jefferson? Well, it looks like you already did, Victoria. Then I guess I'm done talking. I sure hope so. <laughs> Max ain't put up with no shit. That, why? Here's my photograph for the Everyday Heroes contest. Oh, uh, that was easy. No, it wasn't easy at all. Well, I, uh, I, I can't prejudge yet, but I'm very happy you decided to enter. That means a lot to me. And Blackwell, the, the first step for any artist is to put themselves out there in the world without fear to be innocent or guilty uh, well thanks for the photo and maybe both of us will be jet setting to San Francisco this Friday or maybe only one of us will be going don't be so modest Max anything can happen in a week as you're going to find out Mr. Jefferson jeez there'd be a little bit of secret about it Then did Chloe sh get shocked because we didn't help her? Oh, wow. Looks like we fixed everything, oh. right? Okay. You're okay, Max. You're safe. On a plane. What about the storm? 
I hope I did everything right this time. Good work, David. Holy shit, you roll, Max. I'm so oh, proud of my superstar. Oh, this is alive. just the start of your career. Oh, you're alive. I did it. I fixed everything. Wow, sir. Almost in San Francisco. I'm so stressed, but I'm so excited too. Aw, I haven't seen Hot Dog Man in forever. Chloe and I used to totally play the video game and watch him all the time <laughs> when we were innocent. It's so weird to be in between realities. Everything is out of focus and in the distance. beginning of the end for Jefferson and the Prescotts. Two Moon Diner. Um, I can't read some of that. All the environmental chaos in Arcadia Bay, such as the unseasonal snowfall and beached wells. Residents reported seeing two full moons last night around 8 p.m. Witnesses claimed the double moons were clear in the night sky until clouds covered them up shortly after they appeared. No cell phone or video footage has surfaced yet which has led local meteorologists to believe that imaginations are in overdrive due to the recent eco-havoc. Blackwell Security uncovers bunker and scandal. Acting on a series of tips from David, from David Madison, head of security at Blackwell Academy, police officers descended Tuesday on a bizarre underground chamber allegedly used by teacher Mark Jefferson and the student Nathan Prescott to drug, kidnap, and photograph young women. Although... There were no other signs of physical or sexual assault on the victims. The disturbing revelations have sent shockwaves through the tranquil city of Arcadia Bay. Even Sean Prescott, the most powerful businessman in the area, is under investigation for his role as owner of the farmhouse where the high-tech dark room studio was located. Continue on next page. Shut off your damn phone. Oh, here's a flyer. I have to admit, I love being called an artist. Everyday heroes display an artist reception. Please fasten your seat and stow any electronic gear until the plane is on. Are we gonna hit that storm? Thank you. We're starting. No, probably not. It's a beautiful day in San Francisco with clear skies and cool 60 degrees. We hope you enjoyed your trip, and we thank you very much for choosing Pacific West Air. Come fly with us anytime. Uh, I don't think so. I'm hoping these airline seats get smaller so I won't have to fly at all anymore. What's up, bro? How did you sleep? Hope I wasn't snoring out loud, Max. Just a bit. It's been a tough week at Blackwell. So I hope you'll forgive me. Between Mr. Jefferson and Prescott's, things have been hectic, to say the least. I totally get it, Principal Wells. That's a smart way of telling me to stop whining. We are proud of you for representing Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes Contest. I know I'm not exactly the guide you wanted in San Francisco, but we all want you to have a great experience here. I already am, and... We're not even there. Oh, Christ. Another nosebleed? Max, you're not just screwing around with time.
San Francisco is so cool. And this gallery is huge. So is the buffet. If an event skimps on the food, you know it's a bad event. As long as I don't have to eat any caviar. This is your day, Max. You can do whatever you want. I hope you take advantage of your status and talk to as many influential people here as possible. Work the room. I don't know. I'm, I feel so weird, like I'm a little kid hanging with the adults. Max, after this week, you are certainly not a little kid anymore. In fact, you're a noteworthy adult being honored by your peers. Now you have to start acting like the photographer you want to be. Hell, I wanted to be in charge of a big school someday. So I started taking charge of things when I was young. <laughs> Ask my poor classmates. Max, I'm gonna eat up that caviar so you don't have to. Uh, better mm -hmm. get in there and start schmoozing. You know, I won't always be here to take charge. But you come talk to me whenever you want. Come on, Max. After everything that's happened, this should be the least scary thing you've ever done. Talking to a bunch of random people you don't know that have more power than you? Yeah. Wow, Sir Max. You did it. Some. There I am. Along with all the other winners. Oh, nice. I should say. artists instead. I know it's kind of simple, but I find this haunting. Right? The instant- uh, Who's the artist? Is that me? Oh, hey, you're the one who entered the self-portrait. Or actually, do you call it a selfie? Anyway, I was very impressed about how you subverted it to make all of your photo subjects the focus. Uh, who's talking? Smart. Who is talking? I guess I have to get used to the idea of fancy food I don't want to eat. Oh. <laughs> I had my earbuds on backwards. And I was like, where in the heck is this voice coming from? How do these galleries afford to rent here? I want to see my self-portrait. This makes me feel so sad. Like I was back in high school. Usually these kind of contests, they, they put me to sleep, but I like how this show is about specific actions, you know, not just abstractions. The zeitgeist is doing some unique stuff this year. I always get so inspired. Hey, I love your shot. I just wanted to say congratulations, and I hope you get a lot more attention. Oh, there's my shot. And there she is to save the day. Hi. You did it, Max. You're a real artist. At least for today. Uh oh. Are you okay? We lost uh, you there for a second. Your I'm okay. Uh, jet lag. High altitude. Oh, you left the ringer off, idiot. Oh, come on. Please answer. What? Oh, no. Chloe, where are you? I'm so fucking scared. I'm, I'm by the beach. I'm Chloe, so can you hear me? By the beach? Hello? Hello? Oh my god. The tornado was real. Oh, I didn't fix shit. Chloe will die. Arcadia Bay is going to be destroyed. There has to be a way to stop this. For good. 
field. The colors the shape. This was definitely shot with a medium format camera. Wait, where the hell am I? Find out those details. The story of the photo. Can we go back in time through one of my photos? Stand up. I guess no fucking way. Chloe can't die again. I have to save her. Excuse me, I'd love to ask you a few questions about your work. Sorry, but... Come on. Sorry, bro. Gotta go back in time. Oh, shit. Oh, my head. What is going on now? It feels like reality is breaking apart. What am I doing to time? I just have to make one simple change so I won't end up in San Francisco. Simple. Sorry, San Francisco. Chloe comes first. I was going to break this episode in half, but I don't know. I might want to have to finish it in one go. I guess I could do two halves. Oh, fuck. God, no. I'm back here again? I thought I fixed everything. What did you say, Max? What? Jefferson should be in jail, not here. Jesus. It's like you're back in my class. You're still spacing out. It might be cool if you took one of your patented selfies now. The transformation between the old Max and the new Max. Anyway, answer my question, please. Eat shit and die. <laughs> Eat shit and die. Good answer. Good answer. Hey, your nose is bleeding. Probably gave you too big a dose. Sorry about that, Max. But considering you're about to die, a nosebleed is a first world problem. Your iris, that dilation like a shudder. The pictures you're taking of me now. Too bad you pissed away your gift. You could have won the contest, but you destroyed your own beautiful photograph. What a waste. Sorry, I burned all your stuff. I got a little carried away. Fuck. He burned my diary. Always. That's why I'm still here. Especially since you've developed from nerd to hero within a week. There's something... weird going on with you. Whoa. Did you see how crazy it is outside? Like I said... Something weird. There's that fear. Oh, Max, it's an honor working with you on these final sessions. I hope these images will be appreciated for what they truly capture. The loss of youth. <laughs> At least, that's the last lecture you'll ever have to hear from me. And I promise you, no more nosebleeds. Mr. Jefferson, please, don't do this. You don't know what's happening. Shh, 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 shh. Quiet. Quiet, Max. Please, don't do this.
she gets drugged and the storm kills her or something, there's no going back. Shit, I can go back, but... This final dose won't hurt. No! <laughs> At least... I don't know what to do! I guess let myself get drugged. I promise. This final dose won't hurt. See ya, everybody. Jesus. Come on, we can warn David. Yell. Yell. David, watch out! How? How did you know that? <laughs> Jesus. David Madsen. He's out cold. Good. I always hated that fascist fuck. Everybody at Blackwell did, right, Max? Come on, David, bro. What? David, watch out! Time to shut the fuck up, okay? Let's go all the way back. Maybe something changed. I promise you. No more nosebleeds. Wait, hold on. Can I can I please ask you for one last request? Oh. You got me, Max. How can I deny that face? Play some music, baby. Could he please at least play some music so I can drift away? Even at the end, you're still a dreamer, Max. It's a nice trait. And I'm a little bit cuckoo gackers. Hold it! What? Bark it. No way, Jefferson. Miss you. Um. Turn off the lights. One last picture. I don't know. I guess I'm going to go one last picture. Would you uh, take one last picture of me? I, I want to be your best subject. I almost don't believe that, but I think you've finally learned from me. This final dose. At least I got a trophy. What? David, watch out! How? How did you know that? Get the camera next to you! No gun. No balls. J 
Jefferson, it's over. You are not going to stop me. <laughs> David Madsen. Of course. Damn it. Well, this is what you get for playing cop. A real bullet. It's over. You are not going to stop me. Grab your gun now. Got it. You are not going to stop Grab that me. bottle! Sorry, Madsen. You okay, we'll go camera. That table! Yes, sir! Frag, man! It's over. Max, are you okay? Are you all right? Can you move? Yes. Thank you, David. Thank you. Don't thank me. You brought me here. Let's wrap up this son of a bitch first. Now, he won't be going anywhere when he wakes up. Except you are going to prison forever. Or worse. Mr. Jefferson, now it's your turn to be captured in a moment. Can we take a picture of him? Save Chloe. He burned everything, including all of my photos. Warren, yes, I, I can use that picture he took of us. No signal. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson, but you won't need this anymore. Let's go save Chloe. All this expensive gear just for sick bullshit. So where is Chloe? On the beach. David, uh, Chloe is, is dead. She's dead? This isn't happening. It can't. No, God. Not Chloe. Max, are you, are you sure? Are you? Yes, I, I saw her. I, I saw her. Jefferson Keller in the junkyard last night last night When I was feeling sorry for myself in my hotel room I Promised Joyce that I would protect her and Chloe How can I face her and explain this? I never even told Chloe that I, I God damn it You killed my wife's child, you sick fucker! And you took away my stepdaughter! Oh David, shit. Wait! Max, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had to see that. What a mess. What have I done? All that time I wasted with surveillance. I... Chloe, I'm sorry. Joyce, I failed you. Don't kill yourself, bro. My family. You didn't fail. You did your best. Max, you better get outside. You've seen enough of this room. He's going to shoot David. himself, isn't he? Thank you for saving me.
He's gonna shoot himself. Why can't I just wake up? Let Hold tight, David. I'm going to fix everything. And so I was so confused, I was thinking Chloe was alive and we had to go save her at the beach. Holy shit. This storm is real. I need to find her right now. Yes. It's only in the afternoon, it's twelve Warren, in the afternoon. Can you hear me? Never mind. Listen, do you have that photo you took last night in the parking lot? Yeah. Why? It wasn't that great a shot. Yes, it is, and I, I want it. Where are you? I'm at the Two Whales Diner. Pretty much trapped in here with Joyce thinks this Armageddon weather. I'm expecting the ocean to turn red. I'm on my way. Come on, that's crazy. You can barely walk on the sidewalk outside. Seriously, Max, stay wherever you are. I don't think the storm's getting smaller. I'm kind of scared. That's okay. Me too. But... It's not over yet, Warren. So hold on. striking us down and I'm the one trapped in this fucking radio station somebody get me the hell out of here now now god damn it how I pay all those taxes you have one new message message received yesterday at 9 p.m. Max it's, it's Nathan I, I just wanted to say I'm sorry. I didn't want to hurt Kate or Rachel or, or I didn't want to hurt anybody. Everybody use me. <laughs> Mr. Jefferson, it's coming for me now. All this shit will be over soon. Watch out, Max. He wants to hurt you next. Sorry. All right, everybody, I'm going to end the video there for you guys. Uh, I'm going to keep on playing, and I'm just kind of breaking it up so they're not as long, a little easier to watch. Probably come out at the same time, so. Um, this game is getting crazy, and it's going to get even more insane in this last half. So stay tuned. Please like and subscribe to me, and beaver out.